Hello, today we are going to explain and derive Boyle's law, Charles's law, and Avogadro's law from kinetic gas equation and kinetic gas theory. The kinetic gas equation is PV is equal to 1 over 3 m and V square. We have derived this equation in one of our previous video. And the kinetic theory of gas explains the behavior of gas. Gases are composed of small particles known as molecules. Each of these molecules carries kinetic energy and momentum and have mass and velocity. When these molecules strike the wall of the container, it exerts pressure. So according to kinetic gas equation, pressure P times volume of the gas is equal to 1 over 3 m n v square, where m is mass of the molecule and represent the number of molecules and v is the velocity of the molecule. For deriving Boyle's law, let's multiply and divide right hand side of the equation by 2. Multiplying and dividing right hand side of the equation by 2, we will get 2 by 3 into 1 over 2 m n v square. Where this m represent the mass of the molecule and n represent the total number of molecule. If we multiply the total number of molecule with the mass of the molecule, we will get the mass of the total gas, which is denoted by capital M. So mass of the gas is equal to m multiplied by n. Substituting the value for m n as m in the above equation we will get 2 by 3 multiplied by 1 over 2 mv square and this term 1 over 2 mv square is the kinetic energy so the above equation will become pv is equal to 2 divided by 3 kinetic energy and kinetic energy of the gas molecule is directly proportional to the temperature of the gas so we have kinetic energy of the gas is equal to kt where k is constant of proportionality and t is the temperature substituting the value for kinetic energy in this equation we will get pv is equal to 2 by 3 kt now on the right hand side of the equation 2 is a constant 3 is a constant k is a constant and if we keep temperature constant then the whole term on the right hand side will become constant and we will have pv is equal to constant and this is Boyle's law what does this mean if we keep the temperature constant then the pressure is inversely related with the volume of the gas if we increase pressure the volume will decrease and if we increase the volume the pressure of the gas will decrease now let's derive charles's law we have derived this equation that pv is equal to 2 by 3 into kt dividing both the sides of this equation by t we will get pv divided by t is equal to 2 by 3 times k now dividing both the sides by p we will get v divided by t is equal to 2 by 3 k by p where v is the volume t is the temperature k is constant and p is the pressure now again here 2 by 3 is a constant k is a constant and if we keep pressure constant then the whole term on the right hand side will become constant and we will have v by t is equal to constant which is charles's law and according to charles's law if we keep the pressure constant then the volume of the gas is directly related with the temperature if we increase the temperature of the gas the volume of the gas will also increase now for deriving avogadro's law let's consider we have two gases for gas 1, the pressure is denoted by P1, volume is denoted by V1, similarly M1, N1 and V1 square. For the gas 2, the pressure is denoted by P2, volume is denoted by V2, mass by M2 and number of molecules by N2 and V square and V2 for velocity. Now let's consider both of these gases have the same pressure and the same volume which means P1 is equal to P2 and V1 is equal to V2. A pressure and volume of the first gas is equal to the pressure and the volume of the second gas. Then we will have P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. Since left hand side of these equations are equal, so the right hand side of the equation will also be equal to one another. So we will have 1 over 3 m1 n1 v1 square is equal to 1 over 3 m2 n2 v2 square. Now again writing them in the kinetic energy form we will have 1 over 2 m1 v1 square is equal to 1 over 2 m2 v2 square. Now one of the postulate of kinetic theory of gas is that average kinetic energy of gas is equal to absolute temperature. 
So if temperature of both the gases is same, then the kinetic energy of the molecules of the first gas will be equal to the kinetic energy of the molecule of the second gas. So we have 1 over 2 m1 v1 square is equal to 1 over 2 m2 v2 square. Now from the above equation, if masses are same, then we will have n1 is equal to n2. And this means that equal volume of all gases under the same condition of temperature and pressure contains equal number of molecules. That's Avogadro's life's proof. That's it. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe EZDU for more videos.